Okay, emergency press conference time. Uh, DDTG, lots going on right now in the world of Bitcoin. You have to have your head in the sand not to hear about this. Uh, FTX collapsed. Um, Binance supposedly going to buy them out. Now there's rumors the last hour to two that Binance is not going to save FTX because FTX finances are such a disaster. Um, here's what I understand. It took me some research. And even after some research, I'm not sure I totally get it. So let me just say, I mean, I know everyone, oh, how can the Baron of Bitcoin not know? I bought $1 million worth of Bitcoin at 36. It's at like 16 right now. So once again, get my ass kicked. As far as I understand it, here is the situation. I'm going to dumb it down like you're speaking to an idiot because in some respects, I am an idiot. So... Um, FTX, the big exchange, they've advertised with us. I've talked to this guy, Sam Friedman, Benke, or whatever his name is. I've spoken with him, I don't know, two or three times on the phone. A little bit of a quirky, nice enough guy. But what FTX is, an exchange, no different than like E-Trade, I believe, don't quote me on any of this, than any other like stock market exchange. People who want to buy Bitcoin can go there, use US dollars. Um, FTX will do all the conversion basically for you into crypto language and they will fulfill your orders. So if you want to buy 10 Bitcoins, they find 10 people selling it. You don't have to worry about all the weirdness that you got to do um, with keys and language. It's just bang, you put in your money, you make the transfer. So that's what FTX does. They become one of the biggest exchanges in the world. Tom Brady's in on it. People promote it left and right. Things worth this guy's like a billionaire. FSX, Sam Friedman, Banky, or whatever his name is from MIT. He's living in Bahamas, drinking daiquiri. He's doing his thing, his afro through the roof. Um, the problem. So if people are giving FTX their money, right? And they're saying, hey, here's a check for a million. Buy me all these um, Bitcoins at any point, if I want to say, okay, give me my cash back. I want my cash back. Here's my a hundred million Bitcoins or whatever. Now give me my U S dollar. FTX has to be able to accomplish that. FTX has to have the money in reserve to pay people since that's who they're using as their transaction. Well, FTX is out getting Tom Brady and out doing this. And they spent $5 million with us, which they tried to weasel out of. We didn't let them, um, Doing this, doing that, doing the other thing. I would go down the street in here in Miami, FTX Arena, where the heat plays. So they're spending money like it grows on trees. Well, so rumors start coming out. Hey, FTX may not have enough money in reserves. Where if everybody came back at once and said, give me my money, they may not have it. Seems wildly illegal. I don't know how people can get away with it. Well, how do they get away with it? Because FTX and Bitcoin is not regulated by the government, which Bitcoin people, I think, say that's the whole advantage. But if you have this exchange, you'd like to think the exchange, which is supposedly mainstream and everyone trusts, and Tom Brady's out promoting all this shit, that they have the money in reserves, so you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to worry about going to a bank and, ex and them telling you, oh, we lost your money. That seems what was about to happen. Combined now, this guy, CZ Binance, the guy who runs Binance, till up to about four days ago, I thought this guy was just a guy who spanned my comments on Twitter every time I say anything, CZ Binance, CZ Binance, he's a spam bot. I didn't even know he was a real guy. Binance, the biggest exchange, they basically say they have some coin of some sort, a fake coin that Sam Friedman, the Afro guy from... Um, FTX created, and an early investor in FTX was Binance. They gave him all these fake coins. The Binance guy, the spam guy, is like, I'm cashing in all my coins. That's a problem because the liquidity is not there from FTX. Everyone starts looking around. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm hearing rumors that FTX doesn't have the money to pay all the people who did the transaction. So everyone, obviously, if you're just a normal human, you're like, wait, they don't have the money? You try to cash in before it's too late. Well, everyone starts cashing in at once with FTX. FTX doesn't have the funds. FTX freezes um, withdrawals. So imagine sitting there being like, wait a minute, I got 10 Bitcoins. It's worth 16,000 times 10. That's 160 grand. Give me my money, Sam Freeman, MIT guy. Oh, we don't have the money. We don't have the money. Hold on, everyone, hold on. Once that happens, it's game over. FTX about to collapse. 
Binance, their competitor swoops in, CG, whatever, the guy who spams my message boards every two seconds, he's getting ready now to buy probably for pennies on the dollar FTX. But he looks now, he spent the last day looking at FTX spreadsheets like, you guys are fucked, I'm not gonna buy you. Bitcoin's crashing, whole thing's a debacle. I don't know what to say, my question on this, and it, it's sort of like Robin Hood. It's FTX, Celsius, a lot of these. This should be illegal. I know Bitcoin doesn't want to be regulated. It's the Wild West, decentralization, this, that, and the other thing. Well, then this guy's got to go to jail, right, Sam Friedman? How can you not have the money that people gave you? If I want to cash out, I got to be able to cash out. If you're spending too much and you're not liquid, you should go to jail. Am I missing something there? Now, Bitcoin have always said, if you have your money with exchanges, you have no Bitcoins. You don't own them yourself. They've always said that. <coughs> I choked, <coughs> still choking, <coughs> still choking. The problem is to get widely accepted to the way Bitcoin people want to be accepted, you need these exchanges because not everyone wants to go do the Michigas, the little keys and all the code and the different languages. You want to be able to pay US dollars in and out with no question. Well, the only way that's gonna happen is if it's regulated. Or if not, you have Sam Peaky Friedman, FSX, whatever, Afro, MIT, running a chop shop and taking in more money and spending more money than he has. And now we have a disaster and the guy who seems like he's running the ship, the CZ Binance guy is half entrepreneur, half killer, half just a, a bot. He's a bot on Twitter. That's as best I know this situation. Either way, diamond hands. This shouldn't, because this guy fucked up, that shouldn't be an, uh, an indictment as far, as far as I see it on Bitcoin. This guy, SFX MIT, was just running a chop shop.